today we're going to take a look at brushes. You'll find the brushes in the upper right corner. With them, you will be able to paint, smudge, and erase. Tap the paint icon to reveal the brush library. Brushes are organized in themed categories. The left side reveals sets organized by medium and style, while the right side lists all the available brushes under that category. I'm currently in organic. Simply tap your brush to reveal the brush studio. The brush studio allows you to tweak settings or build a new brush. With hundreds of settings, you can create limitless combinations. Use the space on the right to test your brush. Next, adjust the sliders and you can see how it will affect the stroke. You decide what's right for you. Procreate comes with an array of brush sets. Some are realistic, while others invented or conceptual. The most important thing is to take time and see what will work for you. With the many brush options, the best thing you can do is just explore. Try the different things. See what you come up with and have fun doing it. These characteristics are also true for your smudger and your eraser. You want to make sure you are choosing appropriately. Brushes can also be organized with a long hold and just drag them around and place where you want. Same for your sets. With all the options Procreate offers, some of my favorites are still the basics, like the HB pencil and the round and flat brush. I guess it's my painter's spirit. I encourage you to explore, but there's nothing wrong with starting with the basics. Sometimes less is more. You need to be able to save your work. Go to the wrench, which is the actions panel. Tap share, then choose your file type. I'm going to choose PNG. Tap save image to put it in your camera roll or share to Twitter. Now it's your turn. Explore the brushes, have some fun, and go play.